Okay, so today's tutorial is how to make PDF file into a editable version using different slides. Okay, so as you can see in my examples, so this document is from PDF. Okay, so this is the PDF, PDF file from the internet that I downloaded. Okay, so how I'm going to convert these versions into editable one okay, using a Google slide. So as you can see here in my examples, so I can I can type the students can type the answers. So let's say let's answer number one. Name the four basic components of a computer system. Okay. What are those four uh, components, basic components of computer system? So we have one for the system unit. Keyboard and the mouse. Okay, so in number two, in number two, as you can see, I added a shape to go shape here. So the student must only drag the shape into the correct answers. Okay, so select an item that will be used as output. So what are the examples of output device of computer. So output is, one of these is a monitor, okay? So the student can also use the arrow keys to adjust the shape, to position the shape. Select an item that would be used as an input device. So input device, one of these examples is a keyboard, okay? So, on the last part of the activity or homework, the student uh, will write the names of this image. So what is the name of this image? It is what? It is a mouse. And this one, so the student can write their answers. As you can see, this file is from, from PDF. Okay, so the purpose of this is you, ne you need to print their, their homework, okay? Because the students will, the problem here is the student will print the documents and then later after the answer, they will download it again. So this is the, I think the best way, okay? So that the student will not print anymore. Now, okay, so this one, and this one is ready to submit, okay? The students ready to submit their uh, homework or activity using a slide. So, okay. So first, from, from PDF file, okay? So from PDF file, we are going to convert this file into oh, this one. So you can pictures into an image, okay? So how are you going to do that? If you are using a Windows computer, so you can use these applications, it's called the snipping tool, okay? Use this one to capture the PDF file and save as image, okay? And then save it into your computers. And move to the next step. The next step is open a Google Slides in your 
Google Drive. Okay, so open your Google Drive. Uh, click new. In your Google Drive, right? In your Google Drive, click new. And then select a Google Slide. So we convert the PDF file into an image. Okay, so we will delete this. Second step, okay. Second step is we are going to change the page setup of your slides. So how are you going to do that? Okay, to change the page setup, go to file and page setup. Okay, click and then select a zoom. Okay. And then what is the size of the page? Usually, we print in the A4 size. So what is A4 size? So that should be 8.5 by 11. Okay, and then click apply. As you can see, the, the, the page setup is changed into A4 size. Now, here is, uh, we can add the image, our image, okay, here. So I will show you the difference. If we insert, okay, if we insert that image, our activity from our page, and the size is at A4, okay, the problem here is when the students, okay, when the students answer this page they can move the image anywhere okay anywhere or they can accidentally delete the image okay the best thing that we are going to do is we have to lock the image into this page okay lock the image we are going to do that okay there are two ways two methods okay one is just click this change background, okay? And then choose image, and then you have to browse it. What did you say? Okay. And wait. And then click that. As you can see here. Okay, here. So the image is locked on slide. So the students cannot move that image, okay? Cannot move that image. So other way is, if we're going to add another empty, the other one is right click and select change background, choose image, okay? Get it from the, from your computer and then wait and click. Done. Okay, so that's here. There are two ways, so it's easy. So the first one is just click here and then right click. Okay, now, how are you going to add the text box? So we will use a, okay? We will use text box tool. Okay, so here. So we will use this one. Uh, I will start from the second one so I can uh, get size. So from here, you can set this into the uh, left and then I will put in the middle, okay? So we can set it here. So type your Answer here. Okay, and then you can copy page So from the shape here, okay, so the student will drop drag the shape into the correct answer. So use any shape that you want. So in my case, I will use the zero one. It may be larger than this circle. 
and then I will add color. So and then I can copy this. Okay, I will use the other one. And this is the text, okay? Also, you can copy this one and paste down here. And this one is the students will write the name, okay? Write the names of this name. Okay. So finish. Okay. So enjoy. So it's done. So now it's already a format. So if you want to send this one into your students as your homework is easy, okay? Using a Google Classroom or in your managed back, okay? So you can use this template in our managed back. Now, the question is, how about if, okay? How about if the student's answers is very long, okay? For example, no. Okay, it's no. Okay. How are we going to do that? Okay. So maybe the best the best way to do that is if the students will write long answers or a sentence or a paragraph. You just copy this copy paste. You can see the student can type your answer here. Again. Okay until the slide is enough for the activity or work okay i hope uh it will help in your future uh, assignment of work okay. okay so until next time thank you for watching